a no disqualification match. About to make his way to the ring, accompanied by James Mitchell. This is the Monster Abyss. We're going to try and remain focused on this matchup. The Monster Abyss against Sabu, but Don West rejoins me at the broadcast position. Anything you can tell me about the condition of Christopher Daniels? Just the fact that he wasn't moving at all at that point. He wasn't responding to anything that they were doing. He was breathing fine, wasn't responding. The neck is where they're focusing on right there. That last shot, I think, the chair, which was just so brutal, but like, it's, it's, it's pretty serious. There's no doubt about that. Ladies and gentlemen, we will endeavor to do everything we can to get you an update on the condition of the fallen angel, Christopher Daniels whether it's later tonight here at Genesis, or check out TNAWrestling.com. Let's get refocused on Abyss and Sabu. And introducing his opponent from Pompeii, this is Sabu! The familiar ring entrance of Sabu, and he's got the arm covered. You know what that means? I'll tell you what, you know the barbed wire just Freaks Abyss out, and obviously he goes flying out of the ring, and he doesn't even have barbed wire on his arm. How about that? What a mind you, game. You, and how often do you see Sabu employ mind games? Rarely, if ever, but that time he came out with the arm wrapped in the towel. And you know, we've talked about this. It's so amazing that this monster, Abyss, oh, baseball slide kick by Sabu. If there's anything that even takes him out of his game like that barbed wire does. And now Sabu gonna spring off the chair. Look at that, he just poises himself on top and then comes right on top of the monster abyss. I mean, after what we just witnessed, how brutal that was, it's hard to believe that we come right back with maybe the most brutal match you're gonna see, but that's what these two are all about. They're about violence. And there is no disqualification, anything goes. When you mention the names, Sabu and Abyss, that's exactly what you think about. The physicality, the brutality, and the sheer violence as Sabu is flung into the steel ring. No disqualifications. Referee Andrew Thomas, TNA management, they say turn these two loose, and that's what you're witnessing here at Genesis. I'll tell you what, though, I love the way Sabu started. He literally got into the mind of Abyss. Abyss is freaked out when barbed wire is, is in his sight, and he thought it was coming, and he's not been the same since. Well, I wish we knew more to the story behind that. James Mitchell, he touched on it slightly. There's, there, there's something in Abyss's background that makes him react like that when he sees or when he hears about barbed wire. And you know what? That, you're so right. I mean, Tim Mitchell didn't even candy coat him. I mean, he knows that this guy is definitely afraid of it. It's like his kryptonite. And he's going to have to do some kind of a job to keep Abyss focused. That is obviously what he's doing right now. Power game from six feet, eight inches, and 350 pounds of this monster with James Mitchell at ringside, Abyss. And really turned the match in his favor. Just look at that, I thought it was a choke when we had the camera shot from behind, but as we get the close-up look, we see that Abyss just, just took his hand and put it directly across the face of Sabu, pulling on his nose. 150 pounds behind him in the corner. Mitchell looking on so approvingly from ringside as Sabu gets driven right into the turnbuckle. And again! One shot right after another. I mean, he's not letting up. There's like five of them right there. And you can see Sabu trying to shake off the cobwebs. Sabu in trouble. Abyss stalking his prey. Positions him in the corner. Sets him up. Here he comes! Oh, I mean, it's like a charging bull. Oh, you can just see. I mean, it's obviously he clenched his back right there because you can see Sabu grab it. Just nowhere for Sabu to go at that point once he's positioned in the corner. And you see 350 pounds coming across the ring. You're right. Charging at him like a, like a bull, like an elephant. Oh, he just busted his face right there. Repeated shots by the Monster Abyss. Nice shot by Sabu. You know, oftentimes you've seen this with Sabu through the years.
when he sees his own blood as he has now with the blood coming down from the nose. It's possibly broken after what we've seen here. Sabu tries to turn it around, but no, Abyss just too much scoop and a slam. I'll tell you what, it's almost like Abyss now realizes that Sabu doesn't have the barbed wire and he's fueling on that. And he's using that to his advantage and he's, it's like he's free and he knows that that is not going to come into play. Mitchell from ringside, you might see him positioning and motioning to Abyss to go up top. You don't see him go high risk too often. And it definitely has zero reward as Sabu mounts the comeback. Oh, what a shot right there. How he catches that earth and runner right on top of Abyss. you got to have strength to send 350 pounds reeling, and that's what he does. Well, think of the leg strength, the spring off the top rope, come up, wrap your legs around his neck and then drive him back with the Hurricane Rana. Abyss quickly to his feet, caught him with the boot first, and then... Oh, man, you could just see him looking at it, know it's coming, trying to get oh, a hand up, God. and he just smashed the hand right into the head. And you saw the, the look on the face of Sabu right after the contact was made with that chair. You can just feel the pain going through his body. Now, Abyss position sandwiches that chair between the top and middle rope. Sabu, oh. A gallant effort this is to fight back against this monster. Good luck in the corner. Moves out of the way. And Abyss crashes and burns. I'll tell you what, man. He just went head first. And there he goes. Right off the rope. Springboards back and uses that leg. as need to knock down the giant. Caught him with the leg first. And now Sabu. Going to set up the chair. Now springs quickly to the top. Oh, moonsault back. And I think he caught him with the knee right in the face. I'll tell you what, man, he did. He Bad landing, that. though. Bad landing. You can see he caught his knee right there, but he had those boots just break the face there of this. But it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough force. That was the key. That's why he only got the two count. Get out of my fucking way. Sabu out to the floor. Got a table here positioned around ringside. Go. Look out for Abyss coming around the corner. Now gonna roll him back into the ring. Tell you and what, he Abyss. thought he had a shot there to get him on that table, but it didn't work. Man, ah. that's a shot right there by Sabu. Man, that was brutal. That was forcing. Look at him just waiting. Oh, man! There's a hit. That was awesome! That was an improv move, wasn't it? He had the steel chair. He decided and he saw that the ring ropes were in his way. Instead, the big leg drop and Abyss goes right through the table. Can we get another look at this one, guys? I mean, he catches his head perfectly right there. Look at this. Oh, man. Wow. Like you said, improv, but I mean, you got to see that and make the move that quickly or else you hit it by yourself. Wow, what a shot there by Sabu. That really is the key to the success of Sabu there. Throwing the chair down, driving all of his force behind the leg drop. The face of Abyss directly through the table. Wow. Abyss. They okay. have now Mitchell. Oh, he's got his bag of tacks. I can see it right there. Is that what it is? Oh, no, not the thousands and thousands of thumbtacks. I mean, he's tried to get these things in play here for a while here lately. Not been able to. But he's got him in his hand, and the crowd knows what can happen there. But right here in front of Do you of see him. this? Sabu oh. just picked up the chair. No, it's not just Oh, my God! Chair. You're not kidding, Look it's at not. This chair. He's got it it's, right in front of him. It's us. wrapped in barbed wire. Oh, no. Abyss spreading out the tax has no idea. We know there's a version of the barbed wire. Look at the chair. It is. Wow. Mitchell from outside using his cane to hook the chair. Prevent Sabu from using it as a weapon. Oh, I'll tell you what, then you got the tax already laid out in the middle of the ring. Oh no, this could backfire on Sabu right here, but look at him fight back. I don't think Abyss has any idea that the chair with no. the barbed wire is in the ring. Clothesline, oh, precariously, almost on the point of going back first into those thumbtacks. He's got him rocked, gonna try a third time. Oh, what a shot right there by oh. Abyss. He just catches him again in his busted oh. nose. No. Oh no, he's coming. No! No! Oh, he it right in there. Yikes! Oh, look at that. It's Sabu is just reeling from the pain. No! The choke slam. And think of this, Don. It's 350 pounds behind this. Two. How did he do it? How did he do it? He literally apply his back into the tax floor to kick out. Oh. 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 O
out. No, oh, and he's just laying back first with those sacks, puncturing his back. No! into the tax. I'll tell you what, look at them stuck in the elbow right there. He's lucky he had the shirt on. Zabu springs back and caught him with a shot. Again, great hit. Back first again into the tax. Ten, two, oh. I mean, everywhere you lie right there in the ring, there's tax. I mean, look at him pulling him out of his hands. He just oh. got, look at that. But pain he's got to be in right here. As a miss, what are you going to do? Sabu, and you can see his back. All the wounds from those tacks and fighting through the pain, you're right, Don. And then following up his offensive. Gonna go for the camel clutch. You can just pull it back on it with everything he's worth. Don't you do it. Oh, he's trying to get there, and you can see if Mitchell could do it. He would give him that rope, but he can't. No. And he's just holding it on. so close. Oh, he just makes it. Wow. Patented submission move of Sabu, taught to him by his late uncle, the famous Sheik, and now, the chair, wrapped in barbed wire, Sabu brings it to the middle of the ring. You can see the look on Andrew Thomas's face as he's just uh. see that barbed wire chair. Oh no, no, Abyss has him. No. Up, and no. He's no. Sabu oh, he fights, fights him off. off. Wow, don't need to see oh, that. Oh, wait a minute. Freaked him 